Well, for those of you who have ever wanted to see inside of a scroll compressor, um, because I, I always have, uh, somebody's told me, you know, people have told me what it's like and everything, and I'm just like, well, I want to see for myself. So I chopped it open. And what have we got on the inside? Look at that scroll compressor. Deep down inside there, you can see the little, um, I guess the scroll part of it. <laughs> and uh, we got our suction intake here, and it's got a baffle on it to keep it from, I guess, getting liquid directly into the, the suction port of the pump. The pump is only, you know, it's only like that tall. So if that thing were to, if the refrigerant were to come in on the liquid and go straight into the pump, you'd have, you'd have some sludging effect. Well, anyway, uh, the only thing, I guess the, the high pressure comes out of here and there's a seal, uh, just metal to metal seal, um, that goes right onto here, which keeps this area right here, this, the suction side, this this area here and the whole rest of the compressor is the suction area and then this little area here sealed off into this hole which goes into the top portion of the um, of the compressor and then out the discharge is the whole discharge area and then this guy right here I imagine is a, a an overpressure if, say if um, get something blocked up in the expansion valve or or whatnot um, this would release some pressure back into the suction side to keep um, things from blowing up like your evap coil or whatever would probably blow up over you know 500 psi or something you know so anyway or more I don't know what the evap coils are rated for but uh, yeah so that's that's it. It's got a little plenum area there. Um, I will open it up more. All the windings are open. That's that's pretty crazy. That just goes to show you how important it is to get all the moisture out on evacuation. Make sure you get down to 500 microns minimum, and uh, you know go from there. Make sure that you close your valves off, and and uh, that'll save your compressor life close your valves off and uh, of your of your gauge set and make sure that it holds your 500 micron vacuum for a good amount of time if it doesn't hold then you know you got a small leak I guess if it gets down to 500 microns chances are you don't have a leak but definitely use a micron gauge because it saves your compressor life it keeps the windings from arcing for moisture and everything like that cool I'll uh, continue taking it apart and show you some more about it